Ciao ragazzi, in today's video myself and Jake are going to react in a 6-2 win over Crotone. Before getting into the video, be sure to let us know down in the comments below what you thought of the match and don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on push notifications so you never miss a video. Two two at half time's not quite how it was expected to go before the game. Um, it seemed to suggest a pretty simple start to twenty twenty one for Inter, but they made such hard work of it in the first half. Um, falling behind to a really sloppy, shocking error of defending. Vidal Luda's marker, good header, to be fair. But given themselves a bit of a mountain to climb, got back into the game with a really good finish from uh, Latoro Martinez. Two one up for a bit of a deflection off the defender via. Martin, things look quite comfortable, and then just out of nowhere, a daft penalty be given away again by Vidal. So, um, really disappointing first off, not what the uh, Inter would have hoped for, especially before the game. Crotone at home is possibly the easiest game that they'll find on paper this season, so um, not the best. Um, yeah, all the real positives I've got to say is the link up between, between um, Martinez and Lukaku up front looks pretty promising. Uh, Lukaku's improving game by game with his back to goal play. Uh, playing Martinez in a couple of times, looking strong. Um, over on the right-hand side, Hakimi, other than slipping on the ball, um, looks like he's a really strong attacking threat. A bit of pace on that right-hand side. Looks like he's going to get past Retza every single time. Um, and going forward, he's, he's been like that for weeks now. Um, given the opposition left-back at Torrid time, uh, he's definitely becoming a really strong attacking outlet for this inter side. One perhaps other positive is um, a couple of good saves from Handanovic when needed as well. Um, but summing it up overall it's been a little bit disappointing a little bit underwhelming but it could have been managed better if it wasn't for silly individual errors letting into down that's ultimately been what's cost me the first half of this one This half went much how we kind of expected the whole match to do actually the first half as, as Jake rightly described it was, was not how we expected and very poor but this one was, was superb. We, we managed to score four goals in this and Lautaro Martinez managed to, to grab that hat-trick. Unfortunately, the second goal that he did score in that first half was awarded to Crotone defender Luca Maroni, but that didn't kind of put Lautaro off. He managed to score another two in this half. So, yeah, fantastic for him. He's had a bit of an up-and-down season. He's had some difficult moments, but the fact he's scoring... And his man's get his first hat trick for the club is, is absolutely massive. And with strike partner Romelu Lukaku, who was absolutely excellent today going down with injury, if if it's something serious, I'm certainly glad that Lautaro's found his scone boots again in recent weeks because Lukaku would be a huge miss for not only us but any team. So the fact that Lautaro is scoring again is great. I mean, we created lots of problems for Crotone. they done virtually nothing in that second half. We were dominant and as I said kind of at the beginning we, we performed to we were expected to and we've now put ourselves top of the table albeit only temporarily until AC Milan play later on today but it puts the pressure on them and I think that's what we've got to keep doing at this stage until we're able to maybe overtake them and start kind of being the pe people being chased rather than being the chasers so yeah I'm, I'm fairly chuffed with how things went obviously disregarding that first half the second half was what we really need to see and in the end we won this one quite comfortably 6-2 so so yeah on to the next one a couple of contenders for top um it's got to be between Romelu Lukaku and Latoro Martinez for me um I'm inclined to go with Latoro Martinez given the fact that it's a landmark occasion for him um his first hat trick in blue and black colours and most importantly the, the all-round performance for him was absolutely excellent um, he'd probably be a little bit disappointed he didn't score a couple more, um, especially that chance at the end of the first half that he should definitely have took care of. Uh, but ultimately, it's just really good to see him back on the score sheet um, after a bit of a barren spell. He's come back in and uh, after that goal against Verona, looks you know full of confidence, and that was showed today. He took his goals really, really well against, albeit a pretty poor Crotone backline. But you know, a goal's a goal. Whatever it's against, it still means the same amount. So, yeah, Lotaro top for me, but it's definitely worth giving a mention to Lukaku. I thought he was absolutely excellent. Um, it's his all-round game, his ability to hold the ball up, bring us into play. Um, he was a key part in setting up at least two of Lotaro's goals. He's back to goal, holding the ball up against the defender, rolling the ball as a little through ball. Um, he was absolutely superb. And as much as he doesn't have the captain's armband, he's Inter's biggest leader. Um, everything just goes through him. 
Um, they're a better team when he's in possession or holding things together. He's he's just absolutely excellent. Um, so it's definitely worth giving him a little bit of a mention. Uh, but overall, the top for me is Latoro Martinez. Um, well done to him. Superb performance. And it's really uh, really pleasing. <clears throat> I'm really glad to see him uh, back amongst the goal for Inter. The flop for me in this one, I think, will maybe be the easiest flop that I'll give this season, and that is going to go to Arturo Vidal. Vidal's performance was perhaps his worst in an Inter shirt, arguably just as bad, if not worse, than that Real Madrid performance in the Champions League where he was sent off. This was a very, very poor 45 minutes from Vidal. He was at fault for Cotone's first goal where he lost his marker and then gave them a way back into the game by giving away a silly penalty and he was rightly substituted at, at half-time and Stefano Sensi came on in his place. And once again, Sensi came on and things changed in our favour and we played really well. And I mean, it's disappointing with regards to Vidal. Vidal was brought in to bring this experience and quality, but he's just been terrible since he's come in. And it, it's a real shame because... Everyone was really excited given kind of Vidal's past with Conte, but things really just haven't clicked for Vidal and it was a very, very poor performance from him in this match.